Hi Sag, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of September 2020. Well, it's been a pretty crazy year and September isn't really crazy, but it's not exactly a, um, a month that you can move forward and feel like you're actually able to breathe and, and go with it. We will have, during the month of September, six planets in retrograde. Uh, the most important one that will be in retrograde is the planet of Mars. Mars is about action, government, uh, movement, outward directed activity. Um, and it will go retrograde on September 12th and be retrograde through November 16th. Mars is currently in Aries and it will stay in Aries and that is actually the like its exalted sign. It means it has a lot of energy there. But during Mars retrograde, Mars' is a symbol is a circle with an arrow. During Mars retrograde, the best use of Mars energy is to point that arrow inward. The circle represents spirit. The arrow is action or outward directed spirit. But this month, you're challenged to turn that action internal and take a look at spiritual things and the growth of your soul and whether the direction you're moving in is a direction that brings you joy. Sort of Marie Kondo your desires. Um, and basically, you know, it's just a month for you to take time and do that. We also will have a full moon in Pisces on September 2nd on the Virgo Pisces accent access and then a new moon in Virgo at the end of the month, September 24th. Now, depending on where Pisces is in your chart and where Virgo is in your chart will be how those affect you. It's also how Mars is going to be affecting you. Mars could, your Mars or Aries in your chart could be in your third house, communication, or your sixth house, service or work, or your 10th house, career, so, you know, depending on where these hit in your natal chart is how everything will be affected within your life. So, Sag, the first card that I pulled for you is the High Priestess. Now, in the hero's journey, the High Priestess represents the fool is just being born, the um, magician is learning that you have tools, and the High Priestess is about understanding that when you take action, you affect others. So it's about compassionate action. It's about internal, intuitive connection and compassionate action. So that's where you are right now, Sag, and that's a good place to be. It's, um, you know, we're all trying to be mindful of where we are and how we treat people because there's a lot of fear and chaos just vibrating around all over the place out there. So it's up to each of us individually to do what we can um, to calm that and to move forward. So the surprise or challenge for you, Sag, is the Three of Swords. Now, if this were a personal reading for a Sagittarius and they were reading about a relationship, this would be the ending of a relationship. But it could also mean the ending of a pattern, the ending of a job, the ending of a process, and the ability to move forward after that. So sometimes endings are challenges, but along with endings also comes new beginnings and a breath of fresh air. So you're in a really good place for a new beginning because you have this, this beautiful high priestess as where you are right now. The process for you, Sag, is the Six of Pentacles. Pentacles are, represent Earth and, and monetary well-being. Um, but this message of this card is be careful where you use your resources, um, your energetic resources, your spiritual resources, and your physical monetary resources. So your process is to be careful and mindful of that. And the outcome card for you this month, Sag, is the judgment card. This is like, this card represents the walls of Jericho coming down and all past sins or mistakes being forgiven. So don't be hard on yourself and whatever, whatever ending has happened here, 
it's time to let it go, especially with this as an outcome card. This outcome card is about releasing old shoulda, woulda, couldas, and no longer, and forgiving yourself and moving forward and forgiving others. So hopefully that was helpful for all you Sages out there. I'm a Sag, I'm not sure what exactly that all means for me. I'll have to take some time to analyze it. But thank you very much for watching. If any of you would like part private readings, I will have my information below this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful month of September. Thanks for watching, bye.